Hello friends, in this video we'll talk about the permissions and also called privileges. There are a lot of permissions and types and each one can do what. So I'm going to the just the basic ones so uh, you can have the basic understanding of the, of the privileges and these are all the privileges that we will talk uh, in this two videos actually or in this video actually two videos we will make the first video will talk about this set of privileges and the next video will talk about another set of privileges <coughs> now privileges and permissions are obviously means that you give some role the permission to do something that's it that's the permission and that's the privilege so let's start giving some privileges and granting permissions the first thing is that grant create usage on schema login to admin group with grant option as you can see here so grant usage we will see what does this mean grant create usage on schema login to admin group with grant options now this role will have the right to create and use anything on schema login that's the basic thing so this role will can create and use anything on schema login and also with grant options so if if there is another role suppose role number six call it role number six now this admin group can grant role number six these two privileges as well when you write with grant option so this role can grant role number six these two privileges as well granted now we do the same thing for the second schema for the same role now <coughs> admin role can create and use anything on schema users and it also can grant this privileges this permission to any other role now same thing if the schemas were not created now i'm just showing you how to do it. it's not necessarily the case but just to show you how you can do alter schema login owner to admin group which we have done previously actually this we have done previously <coughs> we just repeated it now whenever you create and install a database a server PostgreSQL by default you will get a schema by the name of public and this schema has privileges now sometimes some roles which are not permitted to enter to your databases may use this public schema and through it enter to your uh, databases data which what we call is hacking so it is safe to do to revoke all the privileges of the public from anyone so revoke all revoke any all all privileges from this schema the default schema from anyone role user group anyone from public and then we just grant usage of the public schema to public <coughs> which means we are granting the public anyone a role or user group to use only use doesn't change <coughs> this public schema only usage means reading without any changes on this public schema 
and the last thing is that we need to revoke we need to revoke all privileges any permission from any role role user group we are revoking removing cancelling any permission any permission all permissions to work on this database that's the second stage of security that we are revoking anyone we are revoking any permission to work on this database and later we will see how we can give specific roles the right to work on this db but from the beginning we revoke everyone we revoke everyone from any permission to work on this database and later we start to give this role this permission this role that permission <coughs> now let's start creating some tables now we'll see how we can create the tables and how we can make some permissions on these tables so to create a table on Postgres uh, it's quite an easy task so create table in the schema the login schema by this name login table now these are the columns that we will create and we will see what are the types of these columns the first column is login row number by the name this is the name and it is serial serial means it's automatically incremented so it will start with row number one and automatically when we create another row it will give in number two number three number four and likewise so serial means automatically incremented and it's a primary key means it's a reference <coughs> this row number is a reference to other tables then the user id the user ID is just like a login name and it has to be a byte array of type byte array and of course it should be unique the login name should be unique for each user then the user age let's say we want to know what is the age of the user then that means we have to give a number and in Postgres it's better to use this type numeric numeric instead of integer or float or an it's safe to use numeric type instead of any for any numbers instead of uh, integer or float or any one one thing to notice one thing to notice for this postgres <clears throat> when you want to encrypt postgresql tables using the pgcrypt2 package pgcrypt2 can only encrypt types or columns of type byte a so if your column of type byte a then pg crypto can encrypt it inside your table pg crypto cannot encrypt any other column which is not of type byte a so if your column is integer numeric string object whatever pg crypto cannot encrypt it pg crypto can encrypt only columns with byte a type just to mention this so you can keep it in your mind now let's create this table table created we will create another table on the users schema with the same um, so the same thing the same columns we will create it's just the name of the columns is different okay now we have created two tables now let's start doing some privileges now if these tables are not under the ownership of login table uh, admin group you know the drill again just alter table login login table owner to admin group and the same with the other table alter table users stud table honor to admin group <coughs> now let's do the granting and we will understand here is 
the permissions comes grant all on all tables in schema login to admin group <clears throat> now what we doing we have created these tables okay these two tables one table in this schema and the other one in this schema now what we are saying here grant this role admin group all all what does it mean that means all privileges and all privileges means select insert delete update truncate references so when i say grant all that means give all these privileges to this role so <clears throat> grant all privileges on all tables on any table that is available in this schema in this schema login one table two tables three tables all tables so grant this role all privileges on all tables on all tables in this schema login that's the meaning of the translation of this line of code now we're granting the same thing but for the other schema so we're granting all privileges on all tables in this schema to this role now when i say all privileges it doesn't mean this privilege the sequences now what is the sequences the sequences is this one the serial it means sequence one after the other one after the other one after so any serial is a sequence now when i grant all permissions all prefer privileges to one role that doesn't include the sequences the sequences i should grant them explicitly to a role so how can you do this with this code remember the sequences you have to grant them explicitly to a role grant use it select on all sequences in schema to a role so grant this role these two permissions use it and select on all sequences in this schema okay and the same thing with the other schema for the same role grant usage select on all sequences in schema users to admin group now, as you can see now this admin group role is really with big or high administrative privileges we are giving it really high privileges to work on multiple schemas multiple on all tables so on multiple schemas on all tables of each schema we are giving this role a very high privileges which means it's an administrative role now <clears throat> supposing that you have created roles in the future now how you can apply the privileges of that of these roles how you can give it these roles in the future the privileges the way to do that is with this code so for any future role you you'll create you will say alter default privileges for role this is the role that we already have in schema login grant select insert update delete on tables to admin group now this one since we are using now the same uh, role so we are mentioning the same role but i will show you later in the next video if we create a new role and we want to give it 
the privileges then I will show you how you can do the same line but we will write instead of admin group here we will write the new role that we have just created okay so for now alter default privileges and the same for the second schema and for the sequences as well you should do it as well because even the new roles when you create them you should give them the right to work on all schemas uh, on all sequences okay now let's see with this privilege grant specific privilege on specific table to a specific role we are granting a specific role a specific privilege on specific table this is what we call the read read only user so in general you can give a specific permission to a specific role on a specific table you can do that so grant select on table login login table on to admin group granted but notice one thing if you choose so to choose this permission this privilege as select then this role will be a read only user that's the meaning of the read only user the read only user can only query the table so this add role if you give it one permission that is select then this role is a read only user it can only query this table cannot make any other things now you can choose another permission say delete or update or insert that's another issue but if you choose select on this role on this table that means this role have become a read only user that's the meaning of the read only user now another permission uh, if you want to make this role as a group how can we make this role as a group the admin group how can we make it as a group and the thing is very easy we need to create a user within this role within this admin group and we give it all the permissions of this role which means create user admin one <coughs> within role this is the role within role admin group so now admin one have become a member of this role which makes this role as a group now because it has one member now and inherit whatever permissions admin role has now admin one will inherit them okay encrypted password and give this user a password so this code create user with this name and add it to this role which makes this role as an a group now because it has members now a new member and all permissions whatever permissions of this admin group the admin one will inherit them which means admin one now also a role that has a high privileges whatever privilege this role have now admin one also have okay the last thing is almost the same it's the same meaning of the previous 
line grant admin group to admin one with admin option so we are granting whatever permissions of admin group to this user with admin option with admin option means whatever permissions admin group has it will be given to admin one so it's almost the same as this one except that in this line we are creating a new user but here we are assuming that there is a user with the name admin one okay so here we are creating the user a new user and we are giving it the permissions but here in this line we are assuming that there is a user created by the name of admin one and then we are assigning the permissions to it okay this is uh, the basic permissions that we can do after we make the installation or making the uh, postgresql databases and roles now in the next video we will talk about uh, how can we give permissions to a new role a role that we will create what we should do and how we can give in the future if we create a role what permissions how i can give this role uh, privileges okay thank you very much